And I'm Dan. And this is Time, Time to Wine. So, in today's episode, we're going to be traveling to California for some of their wines. California, what a beautiful state. In some areas. In some areas. Anyway, <laughs> um, so. I've always wanted to go. I've always wanted to see like the West Coast. I lived there for a little bit. I know, I picked you up. I know, I remember. Okay, so in today's episode, we're gonna be having a Cabernet um, from, it, the brand is Uncaged, which has a little owl on the front. And yeah, it's a 2018 Cabernet. I'm gonna read the back. The owl is a guardian of the vine and myths say it is present when the spirit is set free. Our winemaking style is also uncaged and, it, and takes us to California's coastal and valley vineyards in our pursuit of creating wines that offer big and bold flavors, yet finish with uncommon finesse. With each vintage, there is a pure connection to the land that we are proud to share every time a bottle is opened. Hmm. And then for like um, flavoring, let me see if I can get that up on the website. Um, well, I will say I picked the bottle because there was a little owl. All right, so it says uh, Z Alexander Brown Cabernet Sauvignon unfolds with rich aromas of black cherry, mocha, and sweet toasted oak notes. Soft mid palate tannins frame this full-bodied juicy wine with mouth-filling flavors of black cherry and milk chocolate. Smooth and balanced, an, ele an elegant finesse defines the long and lingering finish. So it sounds really good. All right, so do you want to open the bottle? Of course, you know why? Because you can't. It's a cork top. <laughs> you can't open that. Nope, I cannot. Alright, so yeah. Go I'm gonna do the only thing I can do, and that's unfold your rose napkin. So here's to episode 11. 11? Yeah. Wow. I like it. Me too. I'm trying to see if I uh, recognize the, um, what you call it? <laughs> The wine flavors, black cherry mocha, and toasted oak. Oh, so this, um, the Vermont cheddar was in a wax. I had to peel it out of the wax. Fancy. That's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I just... That's tasty. I like the little owl in the front. Yeah, it's really cute. It reminds me of um, the labyrinth. Mm hmm. If you don't know, the Labyrinth with David Bowie opens with um, a, flying. a flying owl, but it, it was it's like... It's a barn owl. Yeah, well that's what's on the bottom. I know. I'm just letting you know that it's not just any owl, it's a barn it's owl. A barn owl. They're super cute. Um, and the, actually that, that sequence was like... A big um, deal. Yeah, it was a really big deal back then. Which is so funny. Considering like and very, it was very expensive kind of too for them to do. Yes, I love that movie. Okay, so I really like this wine. It's good. Mm -hmm. I'm never really good at picking out the the distinct flavor notes like this scent. This one's supposed to taste like black cherry and mocha and you know all that, but I can't ever tell that. You know, like I can't taste it. I bet if you had chocolate though, it would bring out the mocha flavor in it. Yeah, I wonder. Right? If, maybe. I wonder if it would do that. In today's episode, since we're starting off with a new region of wine, we're going to do some California wine facts. California makes 90% of the wine made in the United States and also ranks first in consumption. California wines accounted for 64% of the total 668 million gallons, both foreign and domestic, wine consumed in the U.S. In 
2004 though. So it might be more than that now. Yeah. Wineries and vineyards are the second most popular tourist destination in California after Disneyland. So Chardonnay is the, the wine type variety that's most planted in California and Cabernet is the second most. California wines are the best known internationally. It says when other countries think of American wines, they most likely are referring to California wines. So it says not only does California make up the majority of the wines in America, but it's also 90% of US wine that's exported to other parts of the world is from California. So California <laughs> wine is representing the United States. Basically. Basically, yeah. All right, so we, we learned today that California is like the major hub of America for wine. Which is pretty cool. And we kind of already knew that considering every time you go to a liquor you, store. Yeah. The, just... the California section in all the liquor stores out here is like huge. It usually encompasses like what, three aisles? It's And then you huge. get to a small section of everywhere else. Of everywhere <laughs> else, yeah. It's, yeah. So, yeah. California, you could As probably... As far as the United States, it's a small section of everywhere else in the United States. Yeah. But like, you could probably do like an entire year's worth of wine tastings of just California wines and still have some left over. It's crazy how much wine comes out of California. Yeah, I mean like, I've never heard of this brand before. So, we're gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching this week. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We have new videos every Wednesday. And we're looking forward to seeing you next week. Yes. So, adios. Bye. Bye. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> the part where I picked you up was not the nicest. That was the airport. Yeah. Can't hold it back anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Good.